Okay, so we're pretty much set up on that. There's one other thing we need to do. As it is, this will display the list of matching plans, but if you select a plan, it's not going to do anything over here. We need, we need it to do something. We want to know when something changes over here, and, um, and we want it to update when something changes. So there's one other property we need to bind to, and that is called the selected index. And so this is something that is every time the index, selected index, every time something is uh, selected in the list box, this will be changed and we'll bind it to something on the back end. And we'll call that property also selected index. Okay, so we actually haven't made this property. It needs to be an integer. We need to go ahead and build that in the back end. So um, a quick way you can do this is you can type in prop full and then tab tab that will make a, a, a backing variable and um, if you just tab it we're going to call this selected index and this will be capitalized selected index this is the one we're going to bind to now what am I doing here um, so on these properties above, the selected mean dose and the input structure ID, these are C-sharp properties. And what they're really doing is they're doing this exact thing. They're actually, behind the scenes, they're creating a kind of a backing variable and then doing this get set. Uh, that's what this, this is shorthand for everything that's going on right here. So you're not, you're not having to see that private variable and all that. Well, sometimes you want to have more fine-grained control over the get and set uh, properties. You don't want it to just do this simple get set. And that's what we're going to do in this case. In this case, when the selected index changes, when the value changes from 0 to 1 to 2 as someone is scrolling down the list, we want something to happen. And so what we're going to do is every time this variable is set to a new value, we're going to do more than just set the value of the backing variable we are going to update our mean dose. And I have a little snippet here. Let's see. Let's paste that in. Um, okay, so I had an underscore on the old one. I'm gonna place that here. Okay, let me show you what's going on here. So the first thing we're doing is the same thing that these are doing. We're going ahead and setting that uh, backing private property or pri uh, sorry private variable to the input value, however it's changing. But now we're going to do some more complicated things. We're also going to select out of the mean doses list. We're going to choose the mean dose that matches um, at the index of the selected index. So if you remember these lists. Um, the matching plans and mean doses, they're actually matched. So the first uh, plan in this corresponds to the first mean, or yeah, the first mean dose of this list. So by knowing the selected index, we can choose the right value out of that array. And that's what we're doing here. So we're choosing that selected dose out of the mean doses based on the selected index. So the next thing we need to do is uh, update our selected mean dose string. So this is the one that's going to drive the right side of the UI and show us what is the mean dose of that structure. So we're going to say the selected mean dose is we're going to format the string. This is how you format a double to have two decimal places after it. And then we're going to have the units for that after that. So we're going to have selected dose dot dose and selected dose unit is string. These are properties of the uh, Eclipse dose value class. Those come with the, um, the Varian uh, scripting language. And um, that's going to format our dose. And then the last thing we need to do is something we haven't seen yet. And so let me erase it. And now we need to use that iNotify property change. And the view model base class, um, that gave us that, and we still haven't used it. So we need to tell the UI when something changes in the back end so that it updates. And so in this case, the selected mean dose is changing. That changes every time somebody selects a different uh, plan in the list. So the way that you, you tell the UI 
is you use this raise property change method. And what this takes as an input is it can either take a string or it can do a lambda expression of the property that is being um, changed that needs to be updated. So this is one way to do it, selected mean dose. That's the name of the property. And uh, just like this, as this changes, the UI would update because we're telling it that that thing just changed. So that's one way to do it. I don't like this way because sometimes I don't type very well. And if I misspell it, this is not going to work correctly. So there's another way that's built into the MVVM light framework. You can use a Lambda expression where you simply, uh, and you get some strong typing here, you can um, simply point to the property, which is the selected mean dose. And that way, if there are no red lines under it, you know that that is a real property of this class. Okay. Again, if the Lambda expression is scaring you, then go back to that string version and just input the string uh, property name and just be careful with your spelling. There's one other thing we need to do um, that I just kind of glossed over before. That's that every time we set the new structure ID, um, let's look at that method real quick. When we set the structure ID, not only do we set the structure ID of, of this class, we also find all matching plans and find all mean doses. So the mean doses and the matching plans are updating. Well, the mean doses, we don't have an array um, on the UI. We just have that one that we select whenever the um, plan change, the selected plan changes. But the matching plans, those are actually live on the UI. And if as we change structures and press the search button, we want these to be updating. And right now they would not be because we haven't told them that they're changing. So we need to do one thing, a little plumbing right after this method. We need to say raise property changed. I'm going to do another lambda expression. The matching plans variable has just changed. And you need to update accordingly. Okay. So these are the two raise property changed methods that we're um, going to do so that the matching plans and the selected mean dose update um, as the data in the background is updating. So if, if you have a UI that the data is not updating when things are changing on the back end, make sure you're calling the raise property changed um, if you're using the MVVM light framework. And if you're not, you need to be implementing the I notify property changed uh, interface that Microsoft provides. So believe it or not, that is it. Unfortunately, I don't have the Eclipse uh, running on this computer right here, so I can't show you this um, live and working, but this, this has been tested with this code, and I'm positive this functions exactly um, as you think it would. So if you have been following along and you've been typing this out uh, on, on your box, I strongly suggest you try to run it and um, see if it works like you think it should. Um, if you have any problems, you can find my contact information on the UAB website. And uh, good luck with all your projects.